Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining me. Again, my name is Keegan with Liquid. Um, we're an e-commerce agency for Lightspeed and Shopify. So today, we're going to be talking a little more about Shopify, and I have Keegan's critters on the back end, and specifically, we're going to be talking about doing sale items within Shopify. So the way to do that is to go to your product catalog. Again, I have one product in my product catalog, but let's just say I want to run a sale on this item but I don't want to do a discount code or a coupon that can be used across multiple items or anything. I just have a specific sale where I want to sell more six pound bags of blue buffalo uh, chicken and brown rice dog food. The way I would do that is go into the product and pull down here to where I can edit a variant and click edit. Now what I do is I'd add a compare at price and a new discounted price. So let's just say I want to sell this on sale for $8. What I do is copy the $10, the original price, and put the original price over at the compare at price. In the new case, the price that the customer would be charged, I'm going to sell it for $8. So I'm going to stop those prices and I'm going to click save. Now, what happens if I go to the front end of my website is if somebody sees this on my site, they to see the original price cost off and a new price there. Some sites will do this differently. Some will have a sale flag or a yellow sale card associated with it. Some will cross off the price. But either way, there will be some notifier that this is a sale associated with this product. So if I click on the product, it takes me here. I can see that this was $10 and now is on sale for $8. If I switch to 15 pound, I don't get the $2 discount anymore because the discount or sale price is only on the six pound bag. So if I add that to my cart, I'd only be charged $8 at checkout. When it comes time and I say, you know what, I've sold enough of those, I want to raise the price back, I just erase the sales price, put in the original price again, and delete and compare at price, I save that. And if I go back to the front end of my site and refresh it, I'll see that the price is back to normal. It's just $10. And if I go to the home page, that crossed off price is gone. So that's how we do sale prices in Shopify.